In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Paul Father. And welcome to the Mayan of Asrika and Shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Albert the Great, Friar, Bishop, and Doctor of the Church. As we come together, we thank God for all the blessings that we receive from Him in order to live worthily as His children. But we also come in order to pray and to share those blessings by means of our prayer. Let us pray especially for those who are in need among our brothers and sisters, our loved ones, especially those who are suffering from COVID-19. We also pray for those who are celebrating the birthday today for their anniversaries. So let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration by asking God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my words. words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise, we praise you. you. We, we bless, bless you. you. We, we adore you. you. We, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King. O oh God, God, Almighty Father. Father. Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God, Son of the Son Father, of the Father. You, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You were seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of truth, you made Albert renowned for the gift of combining human wisdom with divine faith. May we remain true to his teaching and through the advance of human science come to a deeper knowledge and love of you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of James. If one of you is wise and understanding, let him show this in practice through a humility filled with good sense. Should you instead nurse bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, at least refrain from arrogant and false claims against the truth. Wisdom like this does not come from above. It is earthbound, a kind of animal, even devilish cunning. Where there is jealousy and strife, there also 
our inconstancy and all kinds of vile behavior. Wisdom from above, by contrast, is first of all innocent. It is also peaceable, lenient, docile, rich in sympathy and the kindly deeds that are its fruits, impartial and sincere. The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your decrees. Lord, teach me your decrees. How shall the young remain sinless? By obeying your words. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your decrees. I treasure your promise in my heart, lest I sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your decrees. With my tongue I have recounted the decrees of your lips. I rejoice to you to do your will as though all riches were mine. Lord, teach me your decrees. Please stand. Our hearts, O oh Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. It is the case of a man who was going on a journey. He called in his servants and handed his fans over to them according to each man's abilities. To one he dispersed 5,000 silver pieces, to a second 2,000, and to a third a thousand. Then he went away. Immediately the man who received the five thousand went to invest it and made another five. In the same way, the man who received the two thousand doubled his figure. The man who received the thousand went off instead and dug a hole in the ground where he buried his master's money. After a long absence, the master of those servants came home and settled accounts with them. The man who received the 5,000 came forward, bringing the additional five. My Lord, he said, you let me have 5,000. See, I have made five thousand more. His master said to him, Well done, you are an industrious and reliable servant. Since you were dependable in a smaller matter, I will put you in charge of a larger affairs. Come, share your master's joy. The man who had received the two thousand then stepped forward. My Lord, he said, you entrusted me with 2,000. I have made 2,000 more. His master said to him, cleverly done. You too are an industrious and reliable servant. Since you were dependable in a small matter, I will put you in charge of large affair. Come and share your master's joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Today, as I said in my introduction, we celebrate the feast of St. Albert the Great, one of the greatest Dominican uh, saints. St. Albert combines science and theology. I can say he Christianized Aristotle and Plato in their teaching. And uh, during his time, he studied so much about natural science. He's the greatest biologist. And uh, for that matter, try to discover more about God. So by combining science and theology, St. Albert was able to produce even a great theologian, and that is by sharing his talents, his knowledge, his gifts, particularly to St. Thomas Aquinas, known as the Angelic Doctor. And they contribute did much in the growth of the church, especially by sharing that truth. My dear friends, in today's gospel, our Lord has given us a good story of a talent that is said that A man here who went for a journey and entrusted his property to his servants. One, he gave five talents and another two talents according to their abilities, according to their capacity. Actually, there is another one. He gave one talent to the third servant. And he went away for a long time. Then, after some time, he returned back and called those people whom he had given those talents. Talents actually are some of money, some of money in order to invest or to reproduce. So the one with five talents produces more five talents. And at the same time, also the one with two talents. It doubled. Why? Because as soon as they received those talents, they went away and invest or do something in order to produce out of those talents given to them. I would like to include the one with one talent. What happened? According to the gospel, he kept those talents that he received. He buried on the ground for safety because according to the custom, a wealth that is being buried is safe. 
but it will not produce anything. And that is why when the master asked this third servant with one talent, where is your talent? And he, in, and he gave the talent and presented, here is your talent. I buried this because I know that you are a sharp person. Who sow? Who way? Oh, reap without sowing. So I buried the talent in order to be saved. So that when you return, I will return it back to you. And what the master said, you lazy servant. Lazy. Fool. Using his own language that he reap without sowing. The master told that servant, sana po, ininvest mo na lang, pinasok mo na lang sa banko, at yung interest, eh, ibigay mo. So, merong interest. My dear friends, this talents will give us a very important lesson in our life. All of us receive blessings from God. And God had given those blessings to us. Those blessings. And that is why it is sometimes said that we have to know our blessings. We have to enjoy our blessings and those blessings should be reproduced and it could only be reproduced by means of sharing just like Saint Albert the Great he received so much blessings especially of knowledge and he shared those blessings with his students and produce one like St. Thomas Aquinas, a great theologian. If you are a teacher, share your blessings, share your knowledge, and multiply that knowledge according to your capacity. And once you share those knowledge, then you have so many students and that blessings will certainly be multiplied twice. And this is what our Lord is telling us about this two servants who receive five and two talents. They reproduce their talents because they did not keep them for themselves, for themselves, just like the one with one talent. Sometimes in our Christianity, we tend to keep our Christianity by ourselves. Natatakot tayo na ipakita natin yung ating tunay na pagkakristyano. Natatakot tayo na magsalita tungkol sa katotohanan ng ating pagkakristiyano. We keep saints just like this servant to receive one talent. But our Christianity is not meant to keep silent. No. Before his ascension, Jesus instructed his disciples and those people around him, Go and teach and baptize people 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We are urged and even commanded by our Lord to speak up the truth, to share what we learn from Him, to share our faith. And sharing our faith means professing our faith, practicing our faith, living our faith. And for that matter, it will grow and produce more when people listen and try to go with us and join us in teaching, in sharing more the kingdom of God. They said that, well, just like the one who received one talent that is say to keep those talent. No. Because talents are meant to be shared. Blessings are meant to to be shared in order that it will be multiplied. Because once it is shared, other people will also share that. And that would be a multiplication of talents. Talents is not, is not like a ship who is there in the port for safety. After all, ship are bad to sail on and not to stay on the port. That is why when Pearl Harbor was bombed, the ship was destroyed even on the port. So also with Christian. Our faith will not be safe if we keep it by ourselves. Mabubulok yan eh. Nabubulok yan. Matatamaan yan. But when we share our faith, then it is there that we will multiply people and for that matter multiply the disciples of Jesus. It is indeed our duty as Christian brothers and sisters to share the blessings of faith that we receive from God. And that is by practicing it practically, by practicing it, by living it in and out of our houses. By practicing it together with our friends and neighbors. And that way, that talent, that blessing will continue to multiply. We all stand. God continually moves us to seek Him so that we may share His divine light. With confidence, let us present our prayers. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer for the Church, that she may persevere in faith and look with confidence towards Christ as the goal of human history. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our leaders, that God may inspire them ever to seek the common welfare. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For persons responsible for planning the world's future, may they put the rights of human conscience above political and religious ide ideology. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For scientists and artists, that through the example of St. Albert the Great, 
may discover God's presence in His creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us who celebrate this Eucharist, that we may make our life and work an acceptable offering to God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we offer now our very own personal intentions and prayers. We include the intentions of this Mass, and let us keep praying for each other. For each other. Father of creation longs for your glory to be revealed. Comfort us by your presence and help us to persevere in faith. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Loving Father, accept these gifts which we offer you in the feast of our brother Albert and made us an acceptable gift to you. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of Saint Albert the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, assistant, Gerard, our Master of the Order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father, Saint Dominic, Saint Albert the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of His mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love. The honor of everything who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church in spite of who I am and what I have done and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, 
in humbly sharing my talents and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am a steward of the Lord. I will return all this to Him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for His kindness to me, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord, you feed us with Christ, the living bread, and instruct us through Christ, the teacher. On this feast of our brother Albert, we will learn your truth and live it in charity. We ask this. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence and your, for your active participation and cooperation during this Eucharistic celebration. Let us include in our prayers our uh, frontliners here. I would like to thank our lecturer and commentator, our Eucharistic minister, our usher especially, and our security guard. We thank also our radio staff who help us uh, keep our Eucharistic celebration online. So uh, keep praying and keep safe all the time. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for our blessing. The God of all knowledge allowed Albert, a man dedicated to prayer and study, with the gift of wisdom. May God enlighten you and fill you with wisdom. Amen. Amen. May God who give you life through the death of Christ and nourish you with his body and blood, bless you forever. Amen. May you always glorify God in preaching, prayer, and praise. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember in silence the names of your loved ones who are sick. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. So we kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries, of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
help us and lead. 